Hello guys, welcome back to my channel for another shave video. I'm Brian, your host. Um, it's Wednesday, so I'm going to be doing a midweek shave. Uh, Wednesday, December 5th. So, for my shave, I'm going to be using this guy here. My uh, Parker variant with the graphite handle. It's a adjustable razor. And very nice razor. It's got the... Uh, it's got the... Uh, brass construction on it. It's pretty heavy razor. It's about 110 uh, grams or five, or four ounces, but pretty good, pretty good uh, heavy razor. I got this on setting two, two and a half. So I'll be doing like a mid. It's it goes from one to least aggressive to five, most most aggressive. So I have it at 2.5s or two and a half. So I'm gonna be doing right down the middle of the road for aggression. So be using this razor. And for my blade, I'll be using my new, I just ordered a bunch of these uh, Voskhod blades. Uh, these are, I think I got these from Amazon. These were like, almost like seven fifty for a hundred blades. So I definitely ordered some of those when I saw that price, pretty reasonable price for a hundred blades. So I'll be using this blade, it'll be the first use in the razor. And for the soap, I'm gonna be using this. My Sterling Ozark Mountain. I have, I bought the uh, refill the refill uh, puck and just put it in this container with a new label. So it's not the original container, but but I just used a different container and still works just, just as fine. It's got enough room to lather. So so this soap is really really smells really good. Kind of like a Christmassy type pine. Kind of like a pine type, you know, pine tree type smell. So, very nice scent. So I'll be using that soap there. I'll be using my uh, Leo Forlot custom made synthetic brush with a tuxedo knot. It's got the 20, 24 millimeter uh, knot. Uh, nice, very, very nice splaying knot here. So let me go ahead and wash my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Getting ready to do my first face lather here. And I hope everybody's having a good week so far. So it's hump day, Wednesday, so decided to do a hump day shave. I actually got work a little bit early today, so had time to come home and take a shower and see any, you know, before dinner. So I'm doing a shave right now before my dinner time, so. All right, so one thing you know is definitely the soap is pretty, pretty scented, it's pretty strong. So scent strength, I would say probably be about seven on a scale from zero to 10, with 10 being the strongest and zero being no scent, but definitely seven. And definitely, Definitely a pretty strong soap when you open the container. All right. So I had the soap container open while I was taking a shower earlier and the whole bathroom just smells like a Christmas tree. <laughs> All right, so it's good lather there. All right, so first pass with the uh, two and a half on the variant. All right, hear that feedback, wow. So Sterling describes a scent um, as walking, walking around the Ozark Mountains and breathing in the mountain, the mountain air, I believe, or just you know, just just that scent of walking around the Ozark Mountains. Hence the name for the soap. But to me, it just smells like a nice, 
Kind of like a nice pine smell. Kind of like a Christmas tree type smell. Like a Fraser fir. Or... I only know that because I just got a Christmas tree uh, a few days ago. A live Christmas tree, so. And it smells very similar to the soap, so that's what. That's the reason why I'm saying that, because it smells very similar to this Ozark Mountain soap. Alright, so excellent lather, excellent slickness with sterling soaps as always. Alright, so two and a half is a pretty good setting if you're a daily shaver with this razor. Every once in a while when I don't shave for a few days or like, you know, three or four days, I might sit might dial it up to maybe about a four, about a, th about a four, three and a half, four when I, when I want to go a little bit more aggressive. After like a couple, it's about two or three days worth of growth. But two and a half is really perfect for being a daily driver if you're using this razor every day. All right, so. Hope it rides well. Hope it rides not sick or get any kind of uh, the flu or the cold right now. I know it's a lot of stuff's going on right now, so. So definitely be careful out there. I just had the. Uh, nasty cold about a week ago, so it was, it was pretty cruddy. I uh, just... Well, I mean, I'm still kind of getting over it a little bit, have a little bit of cough, but... I definitely feel a lot better, though. All right, that was a nice, fine first pass. Uh, let me go ahead and rinse, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back with my second pass. Second face lather. And first pass was superb with that razor. The only thing, only complaint I have about the variant is sometimes you have to make sure it's lined up when you put the blade in. It's lined up perfectly on both sides. You know, center the blade a little bit. It usually centers itself pretty well, but sometimes, occasionally, when I put the blade in there, sometimes I have to kind of look at the razor and, you know, just try to eyeball, make sure it's it's pretty much the same on both sides. Same blade exposure, so. Other than that, it's a great shaver. I just love this soap. This smells really good right now. Love this handle. Um, this is the Leo Frelet handle I got uh, made for my uh, my late father who passed away. So it's got the it's got the little army emblem and his name on it. So kind of like a sentimental brush for me. But I just I just wanted a stubby handle, so that's what he made for me. Like like a nice short handle. You can't see it because of the ladder, but it's a little bit more. Uh, Shorter than my other shape brush handles here. All right, let me go ahead and do that second pass uh, with the grain. So I was watching some other channels, um, shape videos from other people on YouTube and I was watching Shaving with Jill. If you guys haven't seen her, check out her channel. Really good shave channel. Um, really good gal on there. And I know she's been sick recently and and my thoughts and thoughts are going out for her to get better soon. So I'm sending good vibes out to you, Jill, if you're watching. But definitely nasty stuff going on right there. I think she had, I think a lot of people I know are just taking like Z packs and 
um, steroids and antibiotics just to get off, you know, just to get rid of these colds, these real, real nasty uh, viruses right now. I'm kind of like the old fashioned, kind of like rather wait it out and try to get get well myself if I can, you know, without going to the doctor, if I can manage it myself. But sometimes I've, you got, you know, you really got to go to the doctor and get some kind of a, a steroid to get yourself feeling much better, especially if you have like a lot of uh, congestion or, which I have a, a lot of times I have a problem with um, getting uh, sinus infections from cold, so I gotta be careful with that, so. So definitely guys, take good care of yourselves out there. Wash your hands and. There's a lot of nasty stuff going on right now. I think last week when I was sick, I used my Sterling uh, margaritas in the attic a lot because of the, the menthol effect on my nose that helped out clear out the sinuses. Uh, I had a sample of cryogen I went through also when I, when I was sick last time. All right, let me go ahead and do that last pass underneath the nose here. All right, so that's the last pass. I'm gonna last second pass right here, but let me go ahead and rinse, and I'll come back for the third pass. All right, guys, I'm back for my final pass. So this will be against the green, or the money pass, as Anthony Esposito says on his channel. So anybody want that straight razor shaved or getting into it, definitely check out Anthony Espedito's channel on YouTube. He's a straight razor shaver. Very nice guy. I mean, I think he sells razors too. He hones, so definitely hit him up on Facebook or you know, or send him a message if you if you want to start. If you're interested in uh, doing any kind of straight razor shaving, because he's the Definitely a great resource for that. And just by watching his videos, I, I mean, I learned a little bit from straight razor shaving myself, even though I don't, I don't really do it too often, but, um, but you know, you know, just, just a really nice guy. I mean, I think I've, I think I've seen him um, offer, you know, a lot of new shape, wet shavers. I want to straight razor shave uh, decent deals on razors, on, on straight razor blades. I'm sorry, straight razors. But I know he definitely hones straight razors, so. So I know he's a master of that. All right, that was a nice pass right there. And one thing about this razor I like about it, you can dial down the aggression if you have any sensitive areas, like 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 my neck. I usually dial it down sometimes to like maybe about a you know about a two from a two and a half, just to just to make it a little bit more easier on shaving down there, because I have a little bit of sensitive sensitive areas down there where I tend to get a little bit of razor burn. But today I'm keeping it at two and a half the whole shave, so. Which is a great setting with this blade and razor combination. So the Bosch God blades are pretty decent blades. 
wouldn't say my favorite blades, but I wouldn't say they're my worst blades. I'd say about middle of the road as in terms of performance. I'd say I'd probably compare them to more, probably like an Astra uh, Superior Platinum Blade. You know, just sharp enough and nice and smooth enough for a good shave. And I used to get about maybe two, about three good shaves out of the Voshod blades. But definitely heed the warning on the container or the packaging about wiping the blades. Do not wipe the blades. Because you wipe off the Teflon coating on the blade, which helps make them a little bit more smoother when they when you shave. And I made a mistake of doing that one day, just not not even thinking, just taking a towel and just wiping the blade. And my next shave I had was a pretty wasn't as didn't go well as planned. I had a few more nicks than I wanted to on that last on that shave when I did when I did that with the blade. All right, guys, that's my last pass. Let me go ahead and rinse, and I'll be back for the post shave. All right, guys, I'm back for my post shave, and that was a pretty nice shave I had with that uh, variant and that Voshkod, um razor blade combination. So, so for this post shave, I'm gonna be using this, which is the aftershave that goes with it, the Sterling Ozark Mountain aftershave. And this is like the older, this is like one of the older bottles here, so I don't use it very often, but so I have the older bottle, the aftershave, but this is a um, alcohol-based aftershave with a little bit of witch hazel in it. It says essential oils, um, aloe, glycerin, and hadrovance. Not sure what that is, but definitely, definitely good stuff here. And pretty strong too, scented, so if you're looking for a, a cologne type aftershave, this would be a good good fine choice for that. Especially around Christmas time. <laughs> oh man. And it does smell. Smells beautiful. Yeah, so it kind of reminds me of the, of the Fraser fur, like Christmas tree type scent. So if you're like, if you're into that kind of scent, definitely try this out. Um, so, so my recap, my shave was my uh, Parker variant with a black graphite handle, and this is a, this is on setting two and a half. So I don't know if you can see that, but the dial is right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it is say two and a half on there, and just a great, just a great all around disco razor. I think this came in, out in 2017, about a couple years ago, about a year ago. So, uh, great razor. Still love using this razor. I don't, I don't use this every day, but definitely reach for it probably once a week. But great, definitely a great, great little razor. I wouldn't say a little bit heavy razor. So that was my razor I used. I used the Vosh, Voshkod blade, the one use, first use of the blade. And great, great performance as always. And like I said, you can't beat 100 of these blades for less than eight bucks on Amazon right now. So definitely check them out. That's why I got those blades. And I used my Ozark Mountain soap which is by Sterling. And this is, like I said, this was not the original container. This is like a reusable container that, that I used to different, I put a label on there with the, with the um, name Ozark Mountain, but you know, definitely, definitely a great soap to use. And use my aftershave, which was the same aftershave, Ozark like, Mountain by Sterling, which is great after shave. This is the older version here with the older bottle. So I have like a still have like a lot left, so 
I don't use it very often. Probably use it more in the fall or winter months here when it's a little bit when it was a little bit cooler here in Florida, which is very rare. So, but today it happens to be 54 degrees. So, plus I got the tree up in the living room. So definitely, definitely feel like using this today with the soap and use my Leo Frolat uh, synthetic brush with a tuxedo knot, 24 millimeter tuxedo knot and the short and stubby handle. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful uh, craftsmanship on this brush. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's my, um, my dad was in the army, so he was a sergeant in the army, so I wanted to get a brush to uh, remember him by. And I got that, also, also he was a chaplain, so has a little cross on there and his name, but excellent brush to use. The, this knot is superb. And if you guys haven't, if you guys are looking for a customized brush, definitely check out Leo Follett on uh, Perfect Wood. I think it's per, I think it's called Perfect Woodworks on Etsy, and send him a request because he will make you anything you want, as much as 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 pop as humanly possible for a shape brush. So definitely check him out, and he's on Etsy. Like I said, prefer Perfect Woodworks. And you know, just just the communication with him making brushes. I have like several brushes from him, but uh, just the communication through you know through emails, um, you know, this, this every step of the way he sent me a picture of the, you know, when he, when he was making the brush, the coin. So just great communication. Definitely check him out if you're looking for a custom made brush. And he's got different hand. I know I know he's got different knot choices. So he's got this tuxedo knot. I think he's got badger, um, he's got some uh, boar knot types, and several th several types of synthetic knots he's got, so definitely check him out. And I'll leave a link below so you'll be able to find his um, Etsy site on, um, on, you know, definitely on, on Etsy. So anyway guys, thanks for watching, and let me know if you like this video, and please subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys this weekend, and I'll see do another shave video. And you guys stay safe and have a good week. And I'll see you this weekend. Take care.